Okay, so last week we looked at fundraising at Tesson Village. And the question says, Miss Lindo and Mr. C's class decided to have a competition to see which class can raise more money for Terry Fox. Here is what each class collected during the week. So here's a little chart with the five days of the week and the money collected. Which graph would you choose to best display this data? You need a double bar graph. So then the next part was graph the results. Now I saw a lot of you do two graphs and you did a, just a regular bar graph. This is not what we were looking for. You'll see why right now. So for a double bar graph, I like doing it this way. What's my first step in making a double bar graph or just making a bar graph? Because it doesn't really matter what kind of graph you make, there's still some steps we have to follow. Asher. Ah, so I'm going to label the X and Y axis. So now that you've labeled your Y axis and your X axis, we actually have to give it a label now. Okay, so what should the label be for this? I'm going to put here money collected. And then what goes at the bottom? Days of the week. Okay, so we've labeled it. What's next? What should our scale be? Scale is what your skip count. Fives is a good one. Where should I stop? I'm gonna stop at 60. Okay, I'll stop at 60. Pretty good. What's another scale you could have used? A scale of 10 would also be good because then you'd still go up to here and everything will be on one graph, which is what you want. You want it to be easy to read. So if you do a scale of two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, those are harder numbers to do. You should be doing two, five, ten for the smaller numbers. And then when the bigger numbers show up, we'll make a decision on what you need to do then. So now it's time to label the days of the week. So now you have Monday, Tuesday. How am I going to graph this now? Make a legend. Let's make a legend. So I'm going to label my legend as legend. Why do we need a legend? We have to have Mr. C, Miss Lindo. And then we will decide on the bars just in a little bit. So I'm going to follow this, which I should have done here, but it's so I've graphed it now. My graph is still missing one thing though. I'm surprised that this wasn't the first thing you told me to put. Title, fundraising. And the title is right here. There you go. So I have a legend that tells me the different classes that are being compared. This is a double bar graph. Double bar graph is when you're comparing two things to each other. We can do a double bar graph for many different things. So here's one of them. We're competing with two competing classes. So we have our labels. They're done. This is all done. This is our bar graph. And this is how it would look like. 